Hello, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. I was challenged by one of my viewers to create some laser and bubble sort of sci-fi sounds with simple um, tools that are just built into Reaper. He sent me a video of someone doing this with one of the synths inside of Reason, and it was essentially assigning a modulator to the pitch of the synth. And so that's all I've done here with the tuning control in Resynth. So all of these examples are just using some LFO on the tuning of Resynth with various other settings like um, which oscillators are being used and things like that. All right, so here's just some examples of some of the sounds with this basic setup. <laughs> So that alarming sound is changing the pitch in a positive direction with a saw, a ramping up sort of a reversed saw, 2.25 hertz, and yes, yeah, strength of 100. The next sound is sort of a Pac-Man kind of sound. So this is two sine waves with the pitch modulating um, in both directions. Yeah, starting in the center, going left and right, uh, about 80% and a three and a half hertz rate. Um, and I pitched up the second oscillator by two octaves. This one here, it reminded me of a, a space drone sort of thing, spaceship drone. And again, we're just uh, modulating that that tuning. This is at a, a 12 hertz speed. Um, when you're using this, you actually have to type in 12 here because eight is the maximum. Well, here's how that sounds at, at eight hertz. And I found that 12 was just a little sort of unsettling sounding. And the strength is about half, and it's going in a positive direction. That's using the triangle shape. Now this is a cannon shot, and this one can be improved with a bit of extra EQ, and um, I was using the Air Lo-Fi plugin. Uh, anything with sample rate control and bit depth, you can uh, make this sound a little bit nicer, or better, or worse, however you want to say it. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so this is a square wave mixed with a bit of the extra sine wave, uh, two octaves down. So I just did a couple of different variations there because it's always going to be different uh, with this tuning thing. With most of these, I'm just using a little bit of decay and I'm just kind of holding the keys down. So I'm just a really short decay time on this and not using any of the sustain. So with some EQ, giving it a nice big boost at 150 hertz, and then air lo-fi to uh, change the sample rate to six kilohertz and the bit depth to eight, and adding in quite a bit of noise. For a little retro game, kind of cool sound. So here's a kind of a classic laser sound and I did this one in different octaves, so you can see how much the sound changes just choosing different octaves. So this is a sawtooth. Yeah, just a slightly longer decay time on that. The pitch modulation is a saw L shape, 8 hertz, 100% and centered. Laser 2 is a similar sound using a square wave instead of the sawtooth. And I'm adding in a little bit of an extra sine wave pitch two octaves up. This pitch modulation is on the saw L shape. So interesting sounds, definitely retro sounding like like a classic video game 
sort of sound. Now this one's a silly one. It's sort of like footsteps for like, I don't know, some sort of a uh, character. First walking and then sort of a running thing. It's pretty silly, I admit. This is all really easy stuff you can make by just adding some LFO to the, uh, the tuning control of resynth or any other synth. It's actually a lot of fun to just set this up and then play around with it. Uh, I, I wasted easily an hour and a half before I even recorded anything, just trying out different combinations. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. You can support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Thank you.